Let's talk about coaching philosophy. When you think about it, coaches and teachers have an awesome responsibility. We have to help young people learn and grow, and we must realize that we can make a difference in their lives. I really believe that the key to having success as a coach is to realize the game is about the players and how they perform as a team. It's not about me, and if you are a youth coach, it shouldn't be about you. Coaches at all levels need to remember that when they are at the ballpark, they are there for the players. I have put together a TEACH acronym to illustrate some of the coaching principles that I try to live by every day. I hope you enjoy it. It may not apply to everyone, but it gets me back on track when I'm searching for the right thing to say or do. Have a daily plan for your players and coaches so you can use your time properly. A young person is easily bored when standing around with nothing to do. All your players should be working on a skill every minute of the practice. Being prepared is a tedious chore, but it is essential. The great John Wooden would take up to three hours to map out a one-hour practice schedule. Lack of a plan and the execution of that plan will lead to confusion and anxiety for everyone involved. Have the stamina and enthusiasm to lift all the players and other coaches to their peak level. Practice and game should be a fun learning experience. Your players should walk away feeling that they have improved in some way and have a better appreciation for the game. Every player occasionally struggles, shows a lack of confidence, and believes they have let others down. Through awareness, we must recognize these times and use our energy to lift them up and fill them with enthusiasm and optimism to get that confidence back. Admire and respect your players. I believe that the way you receive respect is by earning it. Until you respect your players for who they are physically, mentally, and emotionally, you will not receive it in return. Through your actions, show them how to respect the umpires, the opposition, the uniform they wear, the people that come to see them play, and the game they love to play. Take notes. If you want to help a player improve, you must be detailed in your review. Make notes about your practice plan so you can adjust skills and drills if necessary. Write down what you feel each player needs to work on. Take notes during games regarding which fundamentals the team needs to practice. And note the positive things that happen during games or practices and recognize those players. Be honest with your players and their parents. Players need to know what skills they need to develop why they need to improve and how they are going to develop those skills. Honesty can sting a little, but tact and a positive outlook into the future can ease the pain. <laughs>